So after almost two years of playing Red Dead Online and making content for this game, I sure did encounter many types of griefers and weirdos in the free room sessions. Today we will look at 10 types of griefers on Red Dead to understand his creatures better. The types mentioned in the video are all based on my personal experience during the past two years with a slight touch of humor. Number one, the low level griefer. This griefer is normally between level four to 30 and shoots everything in the world that moves. You can spot them with low tier clothing items or the infamous Grizzly's outfit. These types of griefers usually won't stop coming back at you, even when you murder them over and over again for 50 times. They just finish the introduction and think that they spawned into a free room deathmatch. So why not giving it to them when they ask for it? This type normally doesn't care about dying 50 times. They just want to come back at you until they get that one kill so they can finally leave the session with success in their heads. Number two, the PVP nutter. This type doesn't really see killing other players for no reason as griefing. And his main objective is to prove to everyone in the lobby that he's better than them. After failing to succeed in other online shooter games, he has finally found a place to prove his non-existing skills to other players who are just grinding their roles in free room and calls them trash if they don't want to fight back. This type seems to hate players being in defensive mode, but they still attack them anyways just so they can complain about how unfair it is that they can't spam them with the auto aim. He will mostly find his players in showdown series and when in free room, they will just continue carrying on their auto aim deathmatch rampage on other players. Number three, the bully. These subspecies usually like to roam around in packs and pick on solo players, especially the ones who don't have enough resources or unlocks to fight back. They will come in hordes of three to seven and won't stop killing you over and over again until you eventually leave the session, just so they can move on to some other poor player in the lobby. Preying on the weak is the reason they play a free room and they will usually leave the session if someone is actually fighting back or is better than them. Number four, the backstabber. This type is probably one of the worst since they decrease the overall trust between players in free room. They might come near you and show some nice friendly emotes at you, but as soon as you turn around, they will blow you up with explosives and run away or leave the session, so you can't get them back. I'm sure we all have encountered this one. Number five, the booter. The booters are single-handedly the absolute worst type of griefer in my opinion. Since Red Dead Online sessions are still P2P and the people behind the game don't seem to like to protect user privacy, some weirdos actually hook up the console to the computer so they can see everyone's IP address in the session. Then they will DDoS you for whatever reason. Maybe you're a content creator, maybe you're just better than them in PvP, or maybe they just enjoy harassing and causing harm to other players. Sadly, this type actually causes real life grief to other players since DDoS attacks can take out your internet for hours if you're using a static IP. Especially nowadays, mostly use the internet for work and studying. DDoS attacks coming from other players over a stupid game might enable them to make a living for that day. I've done my part in the community to raise awareness about this issue, but still, Rockstar hasn't commented on it even once. Speaking of booters, you can for sure protect your IP address while playing Red Dead Online using ExpressVPN. You can get 3 months of free VPN using my link in the description. Number 6. The Real Life Weirdo This type of griefer is the one that takes the game way too seriously, since it is directly connected to their real life ego. When they get beaten up in their attempt to grief you, they will resort to sending you abusive messages on the gaming platform, or in extreme cases, would even go as far as to threaten you with violence on social media over a free room fight. Number 7. The Delivery Griefer this type is the one that would justify destroying other people's hours of hard work with It's part of the game man. The game tells me I can blow up your delivery, so you can't complain about it. The game sure can tell you many things, but in this case, you're faced with a moral choice. Either to walk away and let the other player to grind his trader role, or to proceed to destroy almost 4 hours of hard work that other players have gone through. It for sure is in-game griefing in my book. Number 8. 
the defensive mode griefer. Defensive mode was introduced to counter griefers, but sadly, some use this tool to actually grief other players. The way they normally do it is to go to defensive mode and they either try to aim their weapon at other players, provoking them to shoot first or just showing stupid emotes to them. I think it's unfair to do this as it exploits the system against non-hostile players. Defensive mode should be used by players who are peaceful or the ones who don't like to start fights. It shouldn't be used to provoke or to grief people. Number 9. The Glitcher. The Glitchers is the type that abuses all the glitches and exploits in the game to grief other players with. It could be money glitches and having a million tonics in his depository or it could be rapid fire, Kronos Max scripts, off the radar or even god mode exploits. Sadly, these types of glitches get patched very quick on GTA Online but when it comes to Red Dead, sometimes they are left out for a good number of months. Last type is going to be the Seasonal Griefer. This type will always be a peaceful player as long as there is fresh content in the game. As soon as they are burned out through the new content and max out the new role, they will start looking for trouble in free room. This might be one reason that griefing usually increases slightly some weeks after the new big updates. Probably not right now at the moment though, since most of the sessions are empty. But usually it has been the case during the past updates and it will be in the future, when they eventually fix the current low player count lobbies. The bonus one is going to be the modder. This has not been the case in my experience since I played the game on PlayStation, so I didn't add it to my list. But having spoken to some of the subscribers and fellow content creators who play on PC, I've had some nasty experiences and I thought I'd definitely have to reflect their problems regarding griefing. Use of mod menus is not uncommon on the PC version of GTA Online and Red Dead Online. Not only the modders can blow you up or put you in cages in your free room experience, they can apparently also spoof your name and grief other players with it. Especially recently, there has been some mod related harassment towards some of the fellow Red Dead Twitch streamers, such as Swole, That Devil James and Hazard. I hope that they get addressed soon, as there's pretty much nothing you can do about modders if they decide to target you. Even if you leave the session, they have the ability to join back to your session over and over again to continue their harassment. So that's it for today's video guys. I think you could also relate to having some experiences with at least a few types of griefers in your free roam experience. Thanks for watching and I see you guys next time.